Hello everyone, we will have only a short intro today. Because let's get going! Hello! Welcome to Dreamfall, the longest journey, which I always keep wanting to call Dreamfall Chapters. Okay. Today is Friday. It's a weekend. Thank God. Yes! My first ever raid. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, we will do this super fast, then we'll, we will go back to Heimdall and watch more Mass Effect 3. <laughs> the day of the free... Freya's day, isn't it? Isn't it Freya's day? Friday. <laughs> Raid of one! Well, it's... I don't think I could take more than one, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, we were almost done with this game. Almost. So let's get to it. Oh, I'm feeling seasick. Seasick? Aren't you used to flying? Flying? Yes. Flying is no problem. Flying is flapping your wings and praying for a good tailwind. This isn't flying. This is torture. So why don't you jump out there and fly instead? What? And catch a cold? Are you kidding me? You do know that it's freezing out there, don't you? And it's not like I can keep up with this infernal machine. My wings are made for comfort flying, not marathons. Oh, crap. No, I'll stay here. I'll just find a corner to go throw up in instead. Nice. <laughs> How long have you known April? That depends on how you look at it. We go way back, but I haven't really seen her since way back. What happened? She sent me on my merry way. She wanted to go find herself, which actually means go lose everyone else. Oh. I can recommend it, though. It's very liberating. I went off to find myself recently, and I have nothing but good things to say about it. You see, I was about to get married and... To a bird? I mean, not a woman. Well, yes, a woman... A female bird. Someone with wings. Like you. Yes, that's right. A bird. Anyway, so the idea of settling down, building a nest, starting a family... I don't know. I started freaking out. So I went on a journey of inner discovery. <laughs> uh... What's it like being a talking bird? My beak is a finely tuned instrument of love. When I speak... Girls tremble. And also guys. Guys tremble too, but not in the same way. Right. <laughs> you went on a journey of discovery. Inner discovery. A quest for personal understanding. A mission of self-realization. A voyage of inward fulfillment. A trek to the... Okay, yes. I get it. You wanted to find yourself. It's brilliant. You desert everyone, abandon your responsibilities and relationships, and focus completely on your own personal misery. It's a douche for the soul. <laughs> you know, Crow, I think you may have misunderstood what finding yourself is all about. What? No, April showed me how it's done. I can't believe I didn't do it sooner. I feel so much... lighter. Not a care in the world. Except for, you know, the total and abject misery in my heart and soul. Hey, Hadnix, and hey, Faragis, and happy food times indeed. Definitely. So you abandoned your fiancé to go on a selfish journey of inner discovery. Abandoned is a strong word. Left? Deserted? Forsook? Yes, yes, and yes. Slipped away in the dead of night? Sure. But it was all for the best. I obviously wasn't ready to, you know, become a responsible, grown-up, magical bird. Where does one go to find oneself, I asked. Granted, I only asked myself, and I probably should have gotten a second opinion, but <laughs> there you go. So I decided to seek the center of all wisdom and knowledge in Arcadia. This dark people city? No, no, no. Some fortune teller in Zahn. She stiffed me. It was actually blind luck that I ended up in the Dark People's city. I never intended to go there, 
but it was a real blessing, I tell you. These guys, they let me read anything I wanted. And I've learned a lot. Like, for example, did you know that a Diavon water snake can grow to be almost 200 meters long? I didn't. I didn't really want to find out either, because now I'm really freaked out by water, but there's not much else to do in the place except read. Read, eat, read, sleep, read, go to the bathroom, and read at the same time. It's really very, very dull. I would but love all it. all that introspection gave me perspective. I wisened up, and now I'm ready. Ready to get married? Ready to admit that I'm scared out of my feathers about getting married. So no, still on that journey. Ah. <laughs> uh, about April. I don't understand what happened to her. Oh, she was the sweetest, prettiest, nicest girl you could have ever imagined. She was. And she was a real trooper. Save the world and all. You don't see a lot of people doing that these days. But things didn't turn out the way she thought they would. She okay, couldn't go back to her world. First because she was afraid, and then later because she lost her powers. On top of that, the Azadi were after everyone from Stark. Everyone with special powers, everyone who was allied with the Magicals. In the end, I think April just snapped. She was so angry, she felt so betrayed. She had to take it out on someone. Fortunately, she decided to take it out on the Azadi. I wanted to stick with her, I really did, despite the yelling and the bitterness. But in the end, she just up and left me. Right in the middle of nowhere, too. I tried looking for her, but after a while, I gave up. I got the distinct feeling she didn't want me around anyway. So, I left to begin a new life. I don't think there's anything you could have done, Crow. Sometimes the people we know and love change. And sometimes that means we have to move on. Oh, Sorry for me, Crow. Hello, Philo. This game is okay. Not as good as the first one, but it's okay. What powers did April lose? Her special thingy, being a shifter. First, she didn't want to go back to Stark, and then, one day, she couldn't. Her powers went poof, and no one knows why. What? What? Why did you go, ooh? Because it's spooky. Also, I like saying it. It makes my beak vibrate. You don't think she <laughs> lost her powers because she felt her powers were the cause of her misery? It's... of course I... I wouldn't know what... Huh? Seems to me that she was scared about facing reality again. And she decided that her powers would only bring more pain. So she lost them. Oh, oh, that's, uh, uh, psychology, isn't it? Oh, brilliant. You human females from Stark are really clever. So, hey, if we hit April with a really big frying pan, she'll come to her senses, right? What? No. Yes, yes, it's called therapy. I read about it somewhere. Well, not read, more like heard. In a seedy tavern near the docks. After eleven thimbles of Mary Minstrom's yellow fire. Just before dawn. On a Monday. But I remember the fella who told me. Big lad. Arms as thick as oak trees. A stunning collection of scars. Nice eye patch. A real therapist he was. Mm -hmm. uh, wait, maybe it was rapist. It was nice chatting with you, Crow. It's been very informative. <laughs> Glad to help, doll. Doll? Um... I mean, independent and self-reliant female person who's not an object to be ogled at or used solely for my own personal amusement and pleasure. Good. That was a bit... No. Unnecessary, but... Okay. Let's not go into the feminism here, Crow. <sighs> Therapist. Rapist. That it doesn't even sound the same. Welcome to our city. The White of the Kin is expecting you. Who? 
That's the white dragon, Zoe. How did she know I was coming? I stopped asking those kinds of questions a long, long time ago. You just have to start buying into stuff like destiny and precognition, or you'll go nuts. She waits in the library. Follow me. Right. Okay, no point in asking any questions, is there? Absolutely not. It'll only make your head hurt. But I want to ask questions, so... But fine, let's not ask questions, let's just go. You're so snappy, Heimdall. You bend your puns and stuff. Let's grab Crow. This is a really strange place. Tell me about it. I couldn't sleep for the first couple of weeks. All those fancy lights and the spiders freak me out. What spiders? Spiders. Exactly. <laughs> I haven't seen any spiders here, though. Are they big or small? Oh, how did you get there, Crow? You were just behind me. <sighs> Again, maybe let's not question it. Friends. Yeah, it is hard being witty, playing a game and talking to people and looking at chat. I kind of want to see what April, uh, April. Zoe thinks about the windows. Uh, I guess I can. Oh well. Tons and tons of books. Hi, I'm Zoe. How fascinating. You're here, and yet you're not. Can I touch you? Can you... What Can do you mean by... Can she touch that? you oh, on your I special forgot. place? This is my friend Brian Westhouse. He's a... um... a traveller, I guess. You sound... so familiar. You've heard my name before? Your presence, your being, sounds familiar, and also, also disconcerting. I feel a prickling on my skin. What do you call it? Goosebumps? My apologies, ma'am. I don't wish to perturb you. Maybe I should just leave you... No, please. Stay. Perhaps it's... I'm sure it's just me. You see, I don't understand this body yet. I don't know what any of these feelings mean. I apologize. You're most welcome here, Traveler. Thank you, ma'am. I'll leave the two of you alone while I peruse this magnificent library. You've come to me for the same reason April came to me not long ago. You're stuck. I'm stuck here in Arcadia, yes. I need to go back to Stark. But this isn't the only place you're stuck. You're stuck in life. Like driftwood to a river. You lack direction. You lack faith. Maybe so, but that's why it's important that I go back home. People there need me, and I want to be there for them. I don't want to be adrift anymore. I want to be where I'm needed the most. And that will bring you home, Zoe. Your commitment to your friends, your belief in yourself, and your abilities. Faith will bring you where you're needed the most. How? It's easy. You're not really here. That's what you said earlier. But it doesn't make sense. I'm right here. Yes. And no. You're unlike anyone I've ever met. You belong to the story time. Okay, now you're being cryptic. I've had enough of that. I can't take any more riddles. Just tell me what it means. I'm sorry. It's not cryptic to me. It just is. With all due respect, I just want to get home. I want to help my friends. I want to stop the bad guys from winning. I want to... 
I want to be myself again. The last time I was here in Arcadia, I fell asleep. And when I woke up, I was back home in Stark. How did I do that? When I fell asleep on the airship on my way here, I didn't disappear. That's because you didn't dream. If you dream the right dream, it becomes reality. You can go anywhere you wish. To go back to your own world, you just have to wake up. You mean this is all a dream? This isn't a dream, but you're dreaming. I'm confused again. All I need to do is go to sleep and dream about home, and then I'll wake up and be home. Maybe. I've never met anyone like you. I only know that there are some who have a strong connection with the world of dreams. And you are one of them. I'll just have to take your word for it. Help me fall asleep. <clears throat> Help me dream, or wake up, or whatever it is you said I need to do to get home. Time's running out. I have to be where I'm needed the most. Come here. She's gonna kiss her. You must find her, Zoe. You must help her. Wherever she is. That's where you're needed the most. Why didn't she leave her clothes there? Like what? last time. Where did she go? What did you do to her? Did you use magic on her? I didn't do anything to her, funny bird. She left this place on her own. But, but she just vanished. I know. Isn't it fascinating? There's no one else like her. She's special. I've never met a human girl who hasn't been special. For all I know, they've all got strange powers and important destinies. I just hope she's okay. <laughs> Most interesting. Ryan, west of houses. Uh, buying. That's not good. What? This isn't... home? Where am I? You're in a swamp. And I hate swamps. Swamps are the wor wor worst. Swamps are definitely the worst. Crocodile. Or is that alligator? I don't really know. Alligators have big, uh, jaw, like wide jaws, while crocodiles have thin jaws, right? Well, a nose, beak, whatever you call it. Fireworks. Maybe they're celebrating something. So that would be. Crocodile? Maybe? Closed and locked. I don't think there's anyone in there. Hello, what are you? Are you a crocodile or an alligator? I don't know why. Both are equally dangerous. And equally nasty. Right? Is that okay? Food beautiful. making time. Yum yum hey, yum. Crow. We'll need to make another run south before the ice breaks, though I'm guessing Mercuria is out of the question. We lost some good people. We got careless. Ah, we were as careful as we could be. We just got unlucky. It was bound to happen sooner or later. Let's just hope we got enough intelligence out of it to justify the losses. I wish I could say that's the case. 
The fact is, they're getting too strong for us. They tore us apart down there. Easy as... Ah, quit your whining, woman. <laughs> the raven I know is tougher than that. There's enough doom and gloom in this place already. Which is why I'm going back. To Mercuria? Are you sure that's wise? We stay here, we go there. It's all the same. They're coming and they won't stop. Not until we strike at their heart. Mercuria, the tower. Ha! The tower! It'll take more than you and your band of merry rebels to topple that one, Raven. And even if you do, you think that'll stop them? No. We need to stay strong. Build our allegiances, recruit more people, and keep the enemy from our doorstep. Time and patience will decide the victor. We don't have time. Look at what happened in Mercuria. We have to act now. We have to take the war to them. I'm inclined to agree, Raven. But we're not strong enough. Not yet. If you stay here, we can train more people, build our strength, and... And talk about how someday we'll crush the enemy and take back our lands and our cities. That's what we do best. Talk. They murdered my friends. They arrested our most trusted ally in Mercuria, and they're probably moving north even now. And you say we should wait? I'm done waiting. Bah, the Azadi don't have a clue where we are. Trust me, Raven, we're safe here. Besides, no one but me and my boys can navigate the rivers and swamps between us and the Bay of Fire. Even if the Azadi should learn of our whereabouts, the scouts will give us two days' warning. We'll sink their boats before they even know what hit them. Even so, I can't just sit here and wait. I have to do something. I swear, Raven, you'll get yourself killed one of these days. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder if that's not what you want. But if it's south you want to go, if you want to take your war to the Azadi, then fine. You'll have my boat. I'll take you where you want to go. Now, you'll have to excuse me. We still have to unload the grain and move all the supplies into storage. I'll come by later and give you a hand. I just have a few people I need to speak with first. Ah. It definitely wants Even to go to here, war. people keep their doors closed and bolted. The Azadi have taught us to fear and distrust each other. Well, I would always keep my doors closed and bolted. Especially if I live in a neighborhood with alligators slash crocodiles. Those things can probably open doors. God, I would hate living in a swamp. Place. We've all lost our homes and our lands, but thanks to you, Raven, there's still hope that we will see them again someday. Such a low res guy. Everyone locks their doors. I never wanted this, but the enemy left us with no choice but to take up arms against them. Confusing. Kara. A moment, April. Please make sure the herbs are distributed to the lieutenants. They are each responsible for their group getting the medicine they need. April. Thank the balance you escaped, Mercuria, and that Bryn and Chowan made it here with the supplies. Your efforts are much appreciated. Kara, about Benrime, we need to do. She put her life on the line for us. We won't forget that any time soon. We'll sing her song at the tables tonight. The Azadi will be keeping her alive until they can ship her west. They like to have a show trial before executing their prisoners. If I can take a dozen people with me south, I can... You intend to take on the entire Azadi army by yourself? No, April. This war will have its victims, and you'll have to learn to live with that. No! You may have a death wish, but not everyone shares your lack of faith in the future. 
<laughs> In time, we shall prevail. I've dedicated my life to fighting the Azari, Kara. What makes you say that I have no faith? You've already given up your life. You don't fight because you want to destroy them. You fight to destroy yourself and your demons. Granted, your ferocity and guidance have strengthened us. The enemy fear and curse your name, and you've made them tread more cautiously in the north. But both you and I know you're not doing this for any greater cause. You're doing this because it's the only thing you have left. Wow. And I can't have you taking our people with you on a suicide mission. So we let Benrime rot in prison, is that it? We let them take her to their country where she'll die because she helped us? Yes, no. we do. Benrime wasn't, isn't stupid. She knew the risks. She knew it was a dangerous game to play, and she played it as safe as she could. Unlike you. No. I don't accept that. I can't leave her to die. We Accept need ben it or not, you're not taking anyone south. We have enough trouble protecting our homes and our supplies. We can't afford another setback. They're not your people. They make their own decisions. That they do. And you may find that for once, you're on your own. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have other matters to attend to. I'll see you at dinner tonight, April. And thank you again for bringing us the supplies. Without them, we wouldn't have lasted through the winter. But we do have to save Benrima. I mean, Benrima Salmon. She helps everyone. She does everything. She's she's like a mother to everyone. You can't just leave her. Naane, April on. It brightened my heart and spirit to see you here, safe and in good health. We heard that you had escaped Mercuria, but I was worried nonetheless. And now the stars have brought you back to us. How did you get out of Mercuria? I heard they shut all the gates and posted guards at all exits. As a stowaway on trade ship bound for Khorasan, and on a leap first back north along the old pass. As it was generous enough to share her mount with me. I'm glad you're safe. Good thing Bryn and Chuan had just left with the supplies. They were the lucky ones. The stars shine on all of us, April Ann. What about our friends at the Journeyman? What about Benrime? I'm sure they don't feel so lucky right now. Fortune often has a dark side, but there may still be a chance to aid the innkeeper. What? How? I have just been told that someone arrives from Mercuria with word of Benrime. He wishes to speak with you. Who? A stranger. A friend. A messenger. He wishes to meet with you on the West Pier. He will speak with you, and no one else. Are you sure this man is a friend? How did he find us? Would I lie to you, April Ann? I'm sorry, Naane, of course not. I trust you. I'll go right away. Listen, if it turns out this man has important information, and I have to go back to rescue... I would not let you walk alone, April Ann. Go now. He arrives soon. Banane. Have... Mission. She would not like. What's that? I think the celebrations might be getting out of hand. I need to speak with Kara about that. That's not a firework. That's clearly not a firework. Clearly, com something completely different. This is it. But where's the messenger? Who are. Oh, great. Regard. I have no feelings or emotions. I am just an android. Man. Who are you? I haven't seen you before. So many newcomers. Will the Azadi ever stop moving eastward? Nope. Ah, come on. These 
These doors do not look very secure. But in a remote place like this, they don't have to be. I haven't seen you around the campfire, handsome. <laughs> Are you from the eastern fringes of the swamp? I think I would have noticed you. He's nothing. He's like... Walking around with no emotions. It's like... Nothing. What is that? Strange. Perhaps it was a message to... Someone. What is that? Strange. I'm here. I have kept my part of the bargain. Now it's your turn. I have done what you asked of me, Azadi. Your scorpion waits on that pier, alone. Leave. If I ever see you again, my sword will kiss your throat. For what I have done, I am already dead. Zoe isn't there. Oh, there's Zoe. See her ba back there? My Zoe was running, just saying. That Zoe is slowly walking. I don't know if you can see, see it all the way back there. I want to see what happens if she gets there first. I stand there? Well, I guess what else is she gonna do? <sighs> This is it. But where's the messenger? Who are... You. I remember you. From Arcuria, but you're... You're the Azadi. What are you doing here? Have you been... Shit! You followed me here! I swear by my sword I did not follow you. I came here by other means. I wish you no harm, mistress. You spoke to me with honesty back in the city, and I respect that. So what the hell are you doing here? If you brought soldiers with you... There's civilians here. Women. And children. I did not bring any soldiers. I am alone. Then why... Please, let me explain. I'm an apostle. We are missionaries. We bring the word of the goddess to unbelievers. Wow. But we do so with cold steel and swift death, instead of sermons and prayers. We are the last resort, and we are feared. I have never before doubted the righteousness of my mission. The goddess is the one true deity, and we must bring her light to the darkest places. And yet, I have seen and heard many things in my brief time here in the Northlands. I have seen with my own eyes how ignorance and fear are leading some of my people astray, how arrogance and distrust threaten to corrupt our mission. I have witnessed deeds, deeds of which you spoke so passionately when we first met. That have lifted a veil from my eyes. Does the goddess, in her infinite and unquestionable wisdom, truly want us to commit these deeds on sovereign peoples in these sovereign lands? When we last met, mistress, your words awoke something inside of me. He sure doesn't look awakened. I have never questioned my mission or my faith. To do so would be to question my entire existence. And still, now that we meet again, I'm reminded of the parting words of an old friend. Words dismissed too quickly, and I find myself... torn. Bravo. That's a very convincing speech, Apostle. You almost had me going there for a moment. But the fact is, you're an enemy assassin. You're in our city, and you didn't come here to talk to me. I am an assassin, and my mission is plain and undisputable. Only... I believe now that the goddess has led me here for another reason. Led me to you. Why else would she have brought us together? First in Marcuria and now here. If it wasn't to show me, show us a different path. Sorry, I don't believe in destiny or divine intervention. Not anymore. I believe that some things are meant to happen. Call it destiny. Call it the will of the goddess. Call it chance. 
But do not call it coincidence. So what now? You expect me to just let you walk out of here to accept that you've seen the light? No. Yes. I, I don't know what to think anymore. I only wish to speak with you for a little while longer. To understand. To open my heart to a different truth. I believe the goddess wishes to speak to me. To me, and not to those who would interpret her word to suit their needs. And what's your goddess telling you? That my path? A path I have never even considered questioning until this moment. Maybe one that leads into shadows. And not into light. Look, if you came here to find enlightenment, Azadi, you've come to the wrong person. The name is Kian, mistress. I cannot claim that I came here to find enlightenment. Quite the opposite. Yet now I'm starting to see that a great injustice may have been done to the peoples of the Northlands. If that is so, it's my duty to help undo the damage. Oh. You're planning on turning against your own? I will never take up arms against those I have sworn to protect. But I intend to return to Sadir and inform the Six, our Empresses, about what goes on in the provinces. Why? Because it is not right. It is certainly not the will of the Goddess. And it is a betrayal of everything I have been taught to believe in. I still don't understand, Kion. Faith, mistress. I feared I was losing it, but I was wrong. My faith is as strong as ever. It may quite simply have been misplaced. I... I guess I owe you a name. I'm April. April. I am pleased to make your acquaintance. You shouldn't stay. If anyone sees you... You will not tell them. I don't have an easy time trusting anyone, as a Kian. But I'm beginning to believe that you are the real thing. An honorable man. I try to be. But I still don't <laughs> understand why you're here. Teeth. And I don't oh understand why not Teeth. Ana told me that you're... Oh, poopers. Well, this isn't good. Told you those weren't any fireworks. I knew you were a weak apostle. But I never imagined you would go so far as to betray your own people. Vamon? What in the name of the goddess are you doing? Your job, Alvani. Destroying the enemy. Or did you forget that was why you were sent here? There are women and children in this city, Vamon. Civilians. They're all equal in the eyes of the goddess, are they not? Terrorists, wives of terrorists, children of terrorists. That's going Sirs, a bit too far. Every one of them. As for this one, is this who you were sent to kill? To... kill? No. I was about to tell you. I did not know who you were. I came to find the Scorpion and I found you in his place. Scorpion? That's... That's the name your people gave me after I put the fear of the balance into them. You're... him. Your mouth is filled with venom which, even to the last, you are truly beneath us. And you, Alvani. Arrest him. Lower your weapon, soldier. I'm an apostle. No more, Kian Alvani. You have betrayed the Six. You have strayed from the path, and you have forsaken the mission. You have become soft, like a spoiled fruit. You actually <laughs> empathize with these heathens and murderers. You, apostle, have committed a mortal sin. You have lost your faith. All this talk no, about Vamon. faith. It is not I who have strayed from the path. It is not I who have lost my faith. What are we doing to these people? Why are we trespassing on their land? This is not the will of the goddess. So now you question your empresses too. Your hole grows deeper by the second apostle. Alvane. Still, the goddess is merciful, and so am I. I'll give you one more chance to prove your loyalty and save yourself from eternal damnation. Do what you came here to do. Kill this murderous witch. Kill the scorpion.
How do you know that this woman is the Scorpion? Are you feeble, or just deaf? She confessed to us. I am the Scorpion. Do you honestly think I fear death? I've faced it countless times, and I've never blinked. You should fear death, <laughs> witch. The goddess does not smile on murderers and heretics. What stays your blade, Alvani? Whomever she is, whatever she's done, she does not deserve death. I cannot kill her. Very well. You've made your choice. April, kill just her. jump. No, just jump. Oh. Why would you do that, April? No. Please don't tell me you felt for that goddessless butcher. What you're doing here is wrong. What? Protecting our people from terrorists? Destroying the enemy's stronghold? Tell me, Kian, what exactly am I doing wrong? These people are only defending their homes and lands from invaders. We're in the wrong here, not them. You've fallen far deeper than I thought possible, Alvani. It will be entertaining to see you stand trial. It will not happen. When the emissary... The emissary was the one who ordered you arrested, Alvani, after you let the innkeeper and that smuggler vessel go. It was clear to the mistress that your loyalties were no longer with the Empire. Although, ironically enough, you were the one who led us here. I'm sure that will count in your favor at the trial. Maybe they'll even let your body lie in a marked grave. Take him away. I'll make you pay for this, Famon. I swear by the goddess, I will not rest until your beating heart is in my hand. You tell him. Such unpleasantness. Kill them all. Burn the city down. Leave no prisoners. Oh, April. Uh-oh. She's dead, Chuan. Dead. She is dead. And there is nothing we can do now. If you do not quiet down, we will soon be dead ourselves. We might as well be. Listen. They're killing them. Every one of them. What's the point of surviving if we're alone? That's it. I'm going out there. Bryn. No. There are too many. We will make our way to safety and regroup, but first we have to help her escape. You cannot leave with us. It is too dangerous. You will not survive. I know karate. We need to fall asleep again. But they're already searching the houses. If we stay, won't they kill us? When you fall asleep, you disappear, like dew to the sun. You travel. I have seen it with my eyes. I know, but... How can I fall asleep here, now? Chawan! Bryn, hand me that pouch over there. They're coming closer. Do as I say. Quickly now. What's that stuff? Why couldn't Cover he walk face, as Bryn. himself? You, breathe deeply. <coughs> what is it? It is a powerful magic. It will make you sleep. Breathe it. Shit. They're coming. Chowan, we need to get out of here now. It's not working. I'm not falling asleep. Breathe. Slowly. Deeply. I'm... trying to, but it's not... helping any. I'm only feeling woozy. They're here. Chowan? We must leave. Go! Go! There are more over here! For Raven! No, Bryn! No, Bryn! No! April, no! Everyone, no! Who's there? Hello? Funny Bird, is that you? Oh, I didn't see you. Are you looking for something? Wait, no! What are you? Dragon, no! Everyone, no! Damien? 
Oh, my head. Damien? Are you here? He promised me he'd stay. What's such a liar? Ooh, new mobile. Voicemail, new message. You have one new voice message from Dad. Can we not listen to it? I'm really sorry I had to leave you on your own, especially after promising I'd be there when you woke up. I feel terrible, but I didn't have a choice. You wouldn't wake up, and if I'd stayed there, they would have come to get me. And you, too. I couldn't risk it, so I made sure they knew I left town. Hopefully I've been able to shake them, but I'm afraid these people are very, very persistent. Take care, okay, Damien? Sure. Sure he left to save me. No, he left to save his own arse. Hey, there's a, a message for me. It must be from Damien. <laughs> that wasn't funny, bird. Zoe, I hope you get this message. I had to leave quickly. The worm was... They found it. And they will track it back to me. I didn't want to leave you, but I had no choice. I tried to wake you up, but you... You weren't responding. The good news is, before they caught it, the worm did collect enough data for me to get the coordinates we spoke about. The intrusion into Dreamcore originated in Russia, just outside St. Petersburg. I've sent you the exact coordinates, along with a map. If I manage to get out of here, that's where I'll be heading. If you decide to go there, and I expect you will, be very careful. I'll try and contact you, but I can't promise anything. Zoe, you must leave, right now. When they discover who planted the worm, they'll send someone to the apartment. You need to be gone. The quickest way to St. Petersburg is by scramjet. Oh, and um, there's some warm clothes in the bathroom closet. Good luck. I'll... I'll see you soon, I hope. Take care of yourself. You have one new message from Dad. It's me. I've been calling you for a couple of days now, but you're not picking up. And you haven't replied to any of my messages. What's going on? Where are you? Please, call me as soon as you get this. I'm getting worried. Okay. Bye. Oh, she must have been sleeping for a couple of days then. Put the phone away, take the phone back. Hello, Zoe. Uh, Hello, I'm sorry, Dad. but I'm currently away from my phone. Leave me a message and I'll call you back as soon as I can. Hey, Dad. Look, um, I'm sorry for not calling you back sooner. I'm... I've been so lazy. All I do is sleep and hang around the house. Big surprise, right? I hope things are going well for you in Bombay. You don't have to call me back, not unless it's important. I'm perfectly fine. Very bored, but fine. Oh, and don't worry, I haven't spoken to Reza. I'm staying out of trouble. Promise. Mm -hmm. Love you. Bye. Did she really have to say that? That's like, I've spoken to Reza. I'm in really big trouble. Oh, holy boop, those are some... Ugly clothes. Like, seriously. Disgusting. only like the bottom part that's you know, where people sit. I guess they are perfect clothes for Russia but they're still very very ugly. I see a ladder. A very, very this long ladder. These are the coordinates Damien gave me. If the data the worm got from the Dream Core is correct, the virus originated inside that factory building over there. 
There's no way to access this without the right card or data cube. Don't have cards. <sighs> They're just <sighs> ugly. Seriously ugly. This car looks to be in working order. It might even have some power left, which means that if I can access the controls, it can be moved. That's the car's access panel. If I can get that panel open, I might be able to hack into the car's systems. Ah, this puzzle. Three lines and a box. Red and bad. This car looks to be in working yes, yes, order. Yes, the yes, systems the are still operational, so the car must have some reserve power left. Is that really ha damage it too badly? <sighs> At least now it's in a position to help me get inside. Did she do that, or does the car do that on its own when you start it? <laughs> what? That's dangerous. Her face looks so much better in the third game, seriously. That's one ugly face. When you really look at it. <laughs> hey Ghibli! Hey Ghibli, I have good news. My knees are feeling much better today. <laughs> Even while doing the lunges, they were feeling much better today. Ladder climbing simulator! <sighs> go, go, go. Also, Zoe breaks everything. Everything she touches, she breaks. Kind of like April, but April was cuter about it, though. Push! It's all about to fall. All it needs is a little encouragement. Push!
probably have gone further down, but... Watch out for your hands! Don't cut them! Ooh, new phone! Cyprian, sweetie, I had to get out of town, and quick! I hope I didn't worry you too much. I'm fine, I promise, but I'll have to remain incommunicado for a while. I'll get in touch when things have cooled down. In the meantime, I plan on getting a lot of reading done. Good luck, Zoe, and stay safe. I'll talk to you soon. Love from L. Huh. The Liv is gone, too. Oh, she seems to be maybe in Europe, Europolis? Maybe? Like everyone is sort of getting involved in this. This console must be for controlling the factory floor. That panel controls the loading bay doors. It's a production line. It looks pretty old-fashioned. Well, if it's in Russia, then it's definitely old-fashioned. We all know that. Oh. Sorry, wrong one. not have made this a little bit faster. I should be it. Ah, that's not what I need to do. No. Go. Let, let, let. Go. Go. Shoot. There we go. This console controls the winch up and down. We're almost done with this game. Yay! According to this, I'm standing exactly in the location where the intrusion originated. Or maybe... right above it. Um, I decided that next week on Tuesdays and Thursdays we will be continuing with Dreamfall chapters just to get this uh, game over with, like this series over with, so... So if you wanna watch um, Dreamfall chapters you should... You should uh, stop by on Tuesdays and Thursdays.
I know you're looking forward to it, Faragus, aren't you? Again. <laughs> Is that toilet paper I see? It is toilet paper. The way out. Okay, okay, I don't need to look at this stair like that closely. Come on, let me go. None of them work? Ah! That is one flat key! <laughs> it's an access card. Thank you very much. It looks to be in working order. It looks to be in working order. Uh. It looks. To, it looks to be in working order. It's a bedroom, filled with medical equipment. They must have been observing the patient from out here. <laughs> Looney Tunes, yeah. <laughs> and Looney Tunes. One bed, one patient, a child. I know, I Who was it? gone. What were they doing here? On for a child's drawings. Ooh, very pixelated drawing. See, that's Zoe. That's a child's drawings. Zoe and uh, someone. That's someone. And that's the creepy house. And that's the creepy house. And that's the creepy house. And there's a lot of creepy houses here. This was definitely a child's room. There's something in here. Is that a data cube? Are you going to uh, watch um, Dreamfall Chapters with me, um, uh, Jaime? Wednesday, September 23rd. This is Dr. Park. Dr. Zuboff is currently with the subject in her room. The subject is improving after a prolonged illness. She's responding well to stimuli and appears to be in good spirits. She... she even smiled at me when I went in there this afternoon to give her the injection. She didn't say much, but Faith's always been a quiet girl. Hey, Jaime. We're having problems with the new synth, however, and yesterday's Morpheus injection caused the subject some degree of discomfort and pain. Off the record, I have to admit that I've had some misgivings about putting someone through these experiments. Granted, Jiva created her for this purpose, and it's not like she's ever had a normal life, but still. That's such a creepy doll. At any rate, it's not like we have a choice. 
We're simply following orders, and Wati HQ is adamant that we keep pushing forward. They want to see results, and fast, or they might shut us down. Should that happen? Faith, the subject, would have to be terminated. October 9th, it's a, a Friday, I think. I haven't seen daylight in a week. Faith has... The subject has fallen ill again. We haven't isolated the cause of this latest setback, but Faith's heart appears to be, uh, to be weakening. I don't know if it's her condition or if the drugs... Anyway, she really needs to be in a proper medical facility, but unfortunately that does not appear to be an option. HQ doesn't want the subject to be moved. I... I really wish there was something I could do. The... the subject... I just hope she doesn't have to die here. Faith is... Well, she's just a child. And I feel responsible. Partly responsible. Obviously, we're just doing our jobs, but... Still. I'm going home now. Dr. Grundal is taking over my next shift. I need to... To rest. To sleep. I haven't slept in... Anyway... October? What is it? October? Oh, what? November 3rd? God. The... The subject is very ill. We just gave her a very large injection of the new Morpheus, as per HQ's brief, but she's... not responding. There's something seriously wrong. I think the dosage... Well, I don't... Uh, I don't think she'll last... Wait... Wait, something... something's happening here. I'm getting some... really strange... Hey, hey, has your console stopped working? This is... this is weird. There's just static, like... like a... a I'm just getting static here. What's going on? Okay, okay, okay. We're back now, we're... we're good. Well, that was weird. For a second, I thought I saw... Shit. shit. Oh, shit. I think we... I think we just lost her. We, we just lost her. I'm not getting any... any you readings get, uh, here. So she's flatlined. I think she's dead. Faith's dead. The dosage... I think we... we... I think she's dead. Can you please, just... please, please go check on her. I think she's... She's dead now. I think she just passed away. Go! <laughs> <laughs> that guy running in the background. <laughs> November 5th. We're... Uh, we're cleaning out the lab. We can't leave anything behind or someone might... It's strange, but I... I watched her die. I saw her... leave us. But I think... I think something happened. I'm not sure what happened, but something did happen. First there was this static everywhere on our screens. It killed most of the equipment for like 15 seconds. And then I could swear I saw something. Just for a moment, a fleeting moment, a, um, a, a shadow, a house, Faith's house, her dollhouse. I don't plan on saying anything to anyone about the experiments, about the lab, about what happened. But I am leaving this crystal behind. I won't let them simply wash their hands of her like she was never here, like she never existed. She deserves better than that. She deserves to be remembered. She was a person, a girl. Her name was Faith. This is Dr. Janine Park. That's it. They did a very poor job of cleaning up the place so that no one would find out. They left everything in there. <laughs> ah. Now we have nothing to do. That's it. This is like the weirdest end to 
like a story. This door leads out to the factory floor, but it's closed and there's no handle. Like, okay, we found out this big thing, but it doesn't explain anything, really. It explains why Faith is in the computer, but it doesn't explain about anything else, really. It's, and, and then, you, you know, we just walk away. There's nothing else we can do. And that's also, like, very weird and very... Nothing. It's as nothing as Mopey Faces nothingness. Now we're back here. And it's like, well, okay, what now? Back to this lady. I never look at the menu. Zoe? Where have you been? I've been... traveling. Why? What's up? There have been people asking for you. Syndicate people. Eyes. Oh. Yeah, long story. Look, I'm not gonna pry or anything, but they seemed pretty serious. Is everything okay? Yes, sort of. Nothing to worry about, Karen. Thanks. Okay. Can I get you a latte on the house? Rain check. I'm just not in the mood for coffee right now. You got it. Coffee on the house. Let's go see our boyfriend, see if he's back home. Then we have this sad music. Sort of. Which probably is going to get copyrighted as well. Rez is not home. He didn't come home while we were just outside. No, I didn't cry either, Fun. Liv's closed up the store. She did say that she's going away for... for a while. It's like everything is so empty. The whole game, you know, the ending is so empty. So full of nothingness. Makes me depressed. I mean, I guess that that's what they wanted, but still. Dad? My God, Zoe. You have not been an easy person to get hold of. Where have you been? Home. Casablanca. Around. Sorry, I, I didn't think you'd be so worried. Worried? Well, that's an understatement. You don't have to lie anymore. I know you haven't been home. What do you mean? Of course I've been. After our last conversation, I logged into the house and spoke with Wonkers. He told me you haven't been home for at least a week. Dad... What I don't get is why you had to lie to me. Dad, it's a long story. I had to go away for a little while. So where have you been? I'm not doing this over the phone. I'm home again now. Ask Wonkers if you want to. Hell, check the cameras if you don't believe me. I don't know what to believe. Was it Reza? Yes. No. I had to help him, but that wasn't the only thing that... I don't think we should talk about this over the phone. When are you coming back? I'm still stuck out here. Another couple of days at the very least. Look, I'm sorry for lying to you. 
But I had my reasons. I didn't want you to worry. Well, that backfired. I know. But you don't have to worry about me anymore. I'm back and I'm staying put. I'll tell you everything when you get home, okay? Okay. I'll try to speed things up at my end, but it... No. No, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Just come home when you can. All right. Take care, Zoe. I'll call you tomorrow. And try to stay out of trouble. Yeah. Bye, Dad. So, Hamtal, are you ready to continue your Mass Effect 3 stream? I can start chapters then. There's, there's really not. Well, it's still, I mean, there's still a bit left, but not gonna be that much left though. Zoe, it's good to see you again. Are you crying? Hey. No, no, I'm, I'm just... Yeah, I'm crying. Oh, I see. Why? Because I'm sad. Are you staying or are you going away again? I'm definitely staying. Good. That makes me happy. I like it when you're here. By the way, you have a visitor, Zoe. You couldn't uh, have told me that sooner. Visitor. Yes, she asked me questions. What kind of questions? I put the, the thingy back in one kind, curse. The kind I can't answer. About you and about your father. Where is she now? She's out there. She wanted to see the view. I told her she should wait for you, but she didn't listen to me. Hello, Zoe. What? What are you doing here? How did you get in? I came to talk to you. You've been on a very long journey. I'm glad you finally made it back. How did... You. I've travelled around the world, but it all comes back to you. Faith, she was your experiment. Jeeva's experiment. She is. I mean, she was. But we weren't the ones who made her into what she is today. That was Watikorp. That was Pete's. I wanted Faith to live out her life in peace with a foster family. Mm -hmm. She didn't have long. And she'd been through enough already. But Watikorp had other plans. They needed a suitable human subject for testing their drug Morpheus with Dreamnet. So they took Faith away. I know. They put her through hell. I never wanted that. You don't get to make excuses. She was your creation. She was your responsibility. Fair Speedy. enough. Looking back, I realize it was a mistake to let them take her. But Wadi Corp owns us. We don't get to have a say. You're not telling me anything I don't know. Why are you here? Did you bring the eye with you? The twins? Go ahead, do your worst. I'm too tired to care anymore. I'm here to ask for your help. My... help? What do you mean? I want to stop Watikorp from releasing the Dreamer, and I want to stop the static from spreading any further. You may consider me cruel and uncaring, but I'm simply pragmatic. There's nothing to be gained from Wadi succeeding with their plans, or the static causing another collapse. And I also have personal reasons for wanting to stop Pete's. He has already caused much pain, and he will cause untold damage if his plans are carried out. What makes you think I'll help you with anything? I'm not expecting you to help me. But you will help Faith. You won't let her suffer anymore. And you will stop Watikorp. 
Even if they hadn't killed your friend... How do you know all this? I planted a bug on you when we first met, Zoe. It's been sending me data at regular intervals. I've heard everything you've said. I know everything that's happened. I've helped you along the way, and now you will help me, because that's the only way you can help Faith. The only way you can avenge Reza and stop Watikorp. It's as simple as that. How can I help Faith? She's already dead, isn't she? Yes, and no. I can't explain it, but you've seen it for yourself, Zoe. She's in the networks, in Dreamnet, on the wire. Whether it's her, her memories, her soul, I don't know. It's not for me to theorize. The fact is that a part of her is inside the networks, inside Dream Core. And she's suffering. But you can help her, Zoe. If I do this, I won't stop with Watty or with Pete's. You need to be held accountable, too. You I'm tell her. Woman. The moment the eye finds me, I'm dead. Wadi doesn't want me walking around, telling people what I know. If that's not accountability, I don't know what is. And right now, all I want is revenge for what they've done to me and my company. If it means losing everything, so be it. So what is it you want me to do? You need to go into Dreamnet and convince Faith to let go. Once that happens, the network will shut down. And Angana, Dreamcore, will disconnect from the wire. Convince Faith to... How do I do that? And why me? Because you have a connection with her. I don't know what it is. You seem to share some of her more esoteric genetic qualities. And she's taken a shine to you. Besides, no one else has been able to find out where in the network Faith or her residue... Her memories reside. I've tried. But it's like she's not actually in there. You, on the other hand, have met her. Several times. She's reaching out to you. She needs you. And to help her, you must first help me. How? I've brought a dreamer. You go inside. Talk to Faith. Find a way to make her let go. Whatever she's become, a, a virus, a ghost in the machine, only she can stop this. If she keeps holding on, if her influence keeps spreading across the wire, it will eventually shut down completely. We're talking days. Maybe less than that. If she can do that, what is she? I don't know. Like I said, a ghost in the by. machine. Her body is gone, but her mind... They pumped her full of Morpheus. They murdered her with an overdose. Who knows? Maybe there is something as banal as an immortal soul. And that's what's left of her. She died while she was inside Dreamnet, dreaming a very, very powerful dream. Maybe she's still in that dream, and that's what's spreading across the wire. Whatever the answer, it doesn't matter. The fact is that Faith is in there somehow, inside Dreamnet, inside Angana. And she needs to leave. You're saying she needs to die? She's already dead, Zoe. That's a fact. Whatever's left of her isn't happy in there. She needs to... shut down. Move on, whatever you want to call it. And you expect me to ask her to let go? To die? Yes, because it's the right thing to do. Listen to me. We're running out of time. I need you to make a choice. Either you do this, or I leave, and you never see me again. If that happens, the wire will break down, causing untold damage. Watty Corp may still succeed in releasing the Dreamer, and Pete's plans could still come to fruition. Who is the greater evil here? Him, or me? I think you're despicable. You used an innocent person as a test subject. You made her, and then you discarded her. And for what? To research dreams? Still, I won't let the bad guys win. I've come this far, and I'm going all the way. Someone told me not long ago that I lack commitment. Well, connect me to the dreamer. Did Zoe always have that black uh, eyeshadow? I'm going to give you a highly eyeliner. concentrated dose of Morpheus, more than what you've received before. It won't harm you. 
but it will allow you to control your environment. That way, Faith won't be able to push you out again. What do I tell her? How do I make her let go? I don't know. You have to figure that out on your own. This is unknown territory. Are you ready? I'm ready. Good luck. That's such a big needle, it's disgusting. And good night, Zoe. See, she doesn't have the black eyeshadow here. Zoe. It feels different this time. Faith wants me to come inside. Boop the nose. <laughs> well, Garrus is different, okay? Garrus is totally different. Garrus doesn't stick his needle into your skin. I hate this stupid house, I hate it's nasty. Nasty house. Hello? You must be Faith. I'm Zoe. I know. What are you doing? Playing. I see. What are you playing? A game. Really? Can I play too? Maybe. Okay. You've been helping me, haven't you, Faith? The white lady told me to. Oh. What did the white lady say? She said to talk to you. Did she tell you that I had to save April Ryan? Yes. What does the white lady look like? She's all white. When did you last see her? She was here, just before you. She was? Yes. What did she say? She said it's all fine. She said you did good. She said you saved April. That's what she said? That I saved April? Yes. You know I've been looking for you, don't you? Yes. Why me? Why did you talk to me, Faith? Because you're like me. Like you... how? You dream like me. You mean... dream things true? Yes. You're my sister. I'm... what? Your sister? Yes. You're my big sister. You mean because of the way we dream? No, because we're sisters. For real. Faith, this is very important. What makes you think we're sisters? I just know. And the white lady says so too. We have the same mother. We do. Faith, I'm sorry, but that's not possible. My mother died long before you were born. <laughs> mm -mm. No. Our mother isn't dead. And we are sisters. That's... That's impossible. It's true. I know. I'm not lying. I believe you, Faith. Okay? I believe I you, crazy believe girl. You. I believe you. It's just... Please don't hurt me. I thought my mother was dead. Do you remember your mother? No, I don't know. And I don't want to talk about that. Let's talk about something else. Faith, why are you here? Because I don't have anywhere else to go. You can't stay here. You're hurting the world. I know. That's what the white lady said. But I don't know where to go. And... And... And I'm scared, Zoe. I know. I would be too. But sometimes, we have to let go. Sometimes, we just have to trust that things will be okay. Sometimes, we just have to have... Faith, 
You're not supposed to be here anymore. You're supposed to be... to be gone. I'm supposed to be dead. No, you're not supposed. Yes. Yes, Faith. You are dead, Faith. You're supposed to be dead. I know, but I don't want to go. I'll be alone. Maybe. Maybe not. I can't promise you anything. But I believe there's something better waiting for you. I have faith. And I can promise you that I'll stay here as long as you need me to. You'll stay with me? I will. You won't have to be alone anymore. Okay. She has a wonkers too. Look in the back. Sort of strange wonkers. Oh god, look at the creepy painting on the wall. Super cool. And she's been painting on the closet. Drawing, I mean. Drawing on the closet. That's so... Bad girl, Faith. Bad girl. Time is going backwards. Bunkers. <laughs> Has to be bunkers. I'm getting sleepy, Zoe. It's okay, sweetie. You can go to sleep. I'm getting cold, too. Come here. Better? Yes. Will you stay with me? As long as you need me to, Faith. Even when I'm sleeping? Even when you're sleeping. Zoe is so much wider than her. Okay. Good night, Zoe. Good night, big sister. Good night, little sister. And then Zoe is all alone Goodbye, in the Faith. creepy dollhouse. Ever alone. So we can play Dolly. <laughs> Snap her neck. <laughs> I never liked Faith. Hello, please don't. There are some people who haven't played a uh, chapter. Let's not go into it, okay? Even though I mean we did see it at the start, but still, no spoilers for chapters, or you're out of here. <laughs> Just saying. Sam! Sam! Is that you? Oh, you must help me. There's only darkness. They stole my eyes, my ears. They took the world away from me. There's nothing left. Nothing. Do you hear me? Are you there? I need my senses back. Answer me. Answer me! Pets? Papa can't hear you. And he can't talk to you. Oh, pets. Pets? What are you? You can see well for a blind ah! man. Ah! Yes, finally! <laughs> Jiggly boobs is gone. But who is that lady that...
I'm sorry about this, Zoe, but I can't let you wake up again. Goodbye. You really are a very beautiful girl. So like your father. I never thought I'd see you again. And I wish it didn't have to end like this. <laughs> is she asleep? She is. I'll stay here and watch over her. You should. Maybe when she wakes up, she'll want to play a game with me. Maybe. I would like that very much. Bonker. Black dead eye. So there it is. My story. It sounds pretty unbelievable, I know. Parts of it still feel like a dream to me. But it did happen. All of it. I help send Faith on her way. The static is gone. Things are back to normal. All should be well with the world. Except it's not. At all. The bad guys got away with it. The dreamer could still be released. If that happens... I'm not sure how long I've been here, or how long I'm going to stay. But there's nothing more I can do now. My story's been told. The future is out of my hands. And in yours. You need to do something. You need to tell my story until the word is out. Until everyone knows what's going on. If you don't. I'm leaving soon. But I'm not afraid. If death is the end, I know that our dreams remain behind. So whoever you are, whatever you plan to do, good luck. I'm sure you'll need it. I hope my story has been heard. I feel really stupid if I find out I've been talking to myself this whole... Reza. Thank God. How is she? She's fading away. Careful, Dad. That is not him. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. Always in the underwear. Welcome to the story time, Zoe. Hello. Am I dead? I don't know. It doesn't matter here. This is where everything is. Here, you simply are. Alive or dead, you just are. Understand? No. But please go on. You're special, Zoe. I am? You are. You are a dreamer. Someone else told me that. Is that good? It is. And it isn't. There's nothing good or bad about it. Like the stars above and the stones below. It simply is. Oh. So, where are we again? In the story time. This is where the stories are told. The stories that create the sky and the ground and all that is in between. You see, Zoe, this universe and everything in it is like an endlessly thick book 
containing countless stories. That's amazing. Can you tell me one of those stories? I could, but not now. There's no time. We need to act before it's too late. You're here to tell me a story, Zoe. I am. You are. I see. What's happening? Why do we have to act? Because the undreaming is unchained. I don't know what that means, but it doesn't sound good. So where do I begin? At the beginning, Zoe. At the beginning? It's going to be a long story. That's fine. Okay. My Please name is Zoe Castillo, down. and I think I might Before be dead, story. but I'm not sure. My father's name is Gabrielle. And the story is over, over, over again. Forever. And now Zoe doesn't even have a dollhouse to place in. Play in. I'll say. At least she's not alone. She's got the weirdy man. And finally, today's the day everyone's been waiting for. Isn't that right, Ryan? <laughs> That's right, Diane. It's been a closely guarded secret for months. But today, Watikor finally unveils its hotly anticipated new product, Dreamtime. Fans have been lining up in front of stores for weeks in preparation for what some are calling the single greatest event in recorded history. Wow. If you didn't have to be here this morning, Ryan, I'm sure you'd be out there lining up with the rest of them. <laughs> you betcha, Diane. Watikor has yet to reveal what Dreamtime is all about, except that it's destined to change the face of entertainment forever. Wire rumors have it that Dreamtime will allow people to dream lucid dreams about anything they want. Isn't that something, Ryan? Modern technology. Oh, you gotta love it. You just gotta love it, Diane. Not with the creepy child laughs. Hate creepy child laughs. <sighs> and that's the game. Except it has a, um, I think, um, after credit scene as well. The sad thing about this game was the end, because there was no sort of um, promise of a continued game, so it was like, it ended on such a cliffhanger and and it was horrible. I hated the end. The first time I played this game, I stopped at the uh, troll cave. The second time I played this game, I hated it because of the ending. I thought it was like the cheapest ending ever. Horrible, horrible ending. And I still feel sort of like... Um, it's not a good ending to a game, in my opinion. I definitely hated the fighting scenes in the game. I'm horrible at it, and the game was horrible at it. And um, the sneaking part. We don't need sneaking in games. Especially not point and click games. But yeah, it's, it's an okay game, I guess. It could be so much better if it wasn't this. <laughs> I'll accept it. game it's like the best game ever made in my opinion and now they ruined April by making her mopey they made Zoe mopey 
They made Mopey Mopey. Yeah. Well, I can understand why Funcom said no. If this <laughs> if this was the game. Oh yeah, April was dead on the inside. I mean, she even abandoned Crow. That's like the biggest, biggest thing she ever did. Like, um, April is my favorite female protagonist in any game. I, I really liked her in the first game, I mean. I like that she she wasn't super strong. She wasn't even, like, she wasn't perfect. She was scared uh, all the time and she doubted herself, but she still did it. And that's like, in my opinion, a good character. And I mean, her being female and cute was, you know, positive. But then in this game, they t totally just destroyed her. She was... Ev everyone was empty in this game, in my opinion. Everyone was empty, emotionless, without personality. And the fact that they made April that way was the, like, the worst thing they could have done, in my opinion. I mean, the <sighs> so it was, like I said, Zoe was, I don't feel like myself anymore. We never knew what, who Zoe was before, but they really wanted us to know that she didn't feel like herself anymore. I understand it, but I still... No. You don't make April like that. Not my April. Not to mention that if you look into the files of uh, The Longest Journey, you find that the old lady in the house telling the story, her character file, you know, Lady Alvane, her character file is called Old April, or character model. So they clearly meant for her to be April, but... Hmm. That's not gonna happen, is it? And then we see Kia and Alvane and we're like, ooh, are they getting married? Is that it? Is that why she's called Lady Alvane? Hello, Jiskra. You came way at the end. April isn't a Mary Sue. That's the thing. April is, is weak in places and she's sad in places and scared and she gets a lot of help but that's why she's perfect because you know she because she isn't perfect she's perfect <laughs> Unlike Zoe, April doesn't know karate, even though she said the Gribbler that she knows karate. So, you know, she's not a fighter. She doesn't fight anyone, she doesn't kick anyone, unlike Zoe, who can kick, who has been probably training uh, some kind of martial arts for a very long time. In the first game, I mean, I'm talking about the first game here. She basically beat the Gribbler by mistake. And... Just beat everyone by... Oh, I mean, she did beat Roper Clax with a calculator. So... 
that's what made her so good. She wasn't, you know, a fighter or exceptionally smart or anything. Hello, old friend. Chavez. What, what are you doing here? Time is a circle. It will not end here. You are needed. Should I just let him die? Take just my say. hand, Brian. Chavez is the um, waits us. Manny Chavez, also known as a Cortez. Manny the Magic Dragon, that's who he is. <laughs> Manny the Magic Chavez. Chavez? 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 True. No, Manny was the red dragon. His brother was the uh, um, drowned god was the blue one. The white was the lady, and the green was the bad guy in longest journey. So yeah, are you ready Heimdall or do I need to fire up the chapters? At least the music is good in this game now. Patrick. Good music. Okay, you're ready to jump back into Shepherd Pants. Then I will thank you all for coming. Um, on Monday we start Dragon Age 2. I'm going to be playing a male character and I think I'm going to make a mage. A mage male character. Hawk. And on Tuesday we start Dreamfall Chapters. And... Uh, yeah, uh, is it going to be an early end because I don't want to really start chapters today even though we have two hours. Just because uh, I don't want to. <laughs> so instead we're going to watch Heimdall. at Heimdall stream anyway. Those who I don't see on Heimdall stream, good night and see you on Monday hopefully. Have a great weekend. Okay, bye. Bye. See you later.